in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed who is like him lion and the lamb Seated on the throne Mountains bow down Every ocean roll To the Lord of Lords We will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Hallelujah. Elijah. I'm hearing a name, Elijah. Elijah. We're going to pray for the sick shortly. Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good, help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years many years suddenly suddenly god is bringing it by the power of the holy ghost suddenly what do you do you are elijah what do you do pastor. you are a pastor where you have your own church can i pray for you you are elijah hold on please don't Mr. Man, I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers and God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. My God. Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave. And I saw it open. And I saw things, not people, things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone. This is not just restoration. This is resurrection. There are some of you, they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses. I call upon my God. Everything that has been buried over your destiny, that you will not rise. Conclusions made. Over your family. I call upon my God, who is your God, Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Help them please. Every family, dying businesses, dying families, come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, sign up. Sign up. I pray for all of you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ may the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you my dear this lady shout Jesus as loud as you can my friend what do you do sales boy you are a sales boy yes, where equal boy i'm selling gas you are selling gas gas, gas. Uh, refining of gas will you believe what i will tell you yes sir. go and register a company okay, sir. Huh? Okay. god is taking you into oil and gas stand up my friend we are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't um... But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir. Just saw light, the worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. A, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They are still like a river. A river. There are people falling into that river. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Christ of God, that river. It will bring in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is signing up? Where are you coming from? But no state. What do you do, man? Come. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. is 13 years even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ madam i pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that here at this miracle service the lord has brought visitation for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Praise the Lord. Why is she here? Your name is Zainab. You last too? Week. Huh? I'm a Muslim. You called me last week. You are a Muslim? Yes, it doesn't yes. matter. You are welcome. This is God's house. Huh? There's no prejudice. God bless you. Whether we love everyone, Buddhist, Muslim, whatever you are, you just come. One guarantee is that you will not go back the way you came. That's the deal. But you are welcome. You come the way you are. 
I want to pray for you, Zainab, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bring a visitation for your family. A supernatural visitation. Everyone trusting God for a job. I just saw something now. Please believe. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week, may God surprise you. You will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. I'm hearing a name Pius. Who is Pius? Pius. You are pious. You are a worker here. You are a new security here. It's still the same thing. All this ministry doesn't whether you are a worker, you know, most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything, only other people get no. This once Jesus shows up, including me who is speaking, everybody you will swim in that river and you receive. Are we together? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. No. The pious I'm seeing is wearing white like me. Like this. This is what you are wearing. <laughs> you are surprised. <laughs> this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender sir don't worry i'll still pray for you ah you are we love our workers you are faithful how could i'm just trying to say that this is was not the word you understand but it means that listen whether god gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not the prophecy of scripture is valid you can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you no matter how accurate what we say is we still see in part the word of god scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word this becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we're limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what I'm seeing. God is lifting people. God is showing me someone. You work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense this is what i'm seeing this is a lady or not a man is there someone like that balcony oh, find out find out first where where were you sitting come come and stand This is the place of encounter. Do to me Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, 
I declare and I also pray for you also civil defense madam I want to pray for you where are you from I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ you will come and stand both of you you will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings in the name of Jesus receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit sir I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ help her please daddy I don't know why you are standing outside here but I want to pray for you we are going to pray for the sick I'm going to pray for you is it husband and wife madam I need to pray because I hope you are not embarrassed sir. can I talk to you ah, we have to pray I believe in miracles God is taking sickness sickness I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down up and down up and down this is BP two people will start running in the overflow outside outside now we may not have time to bring them out outside I'm seeing the power of God outside the overflow outside just bring them to the front of the projector screen I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the Lord is showing me sir may my God bless you in the name of Jesus and for you sir may my God please stand up you're a worker what do you want God to do for you look at a wise man you heard what he said he said I want to know him more is it not relationship that brought this privilege now don't you think relationship has other privileges too the greatest prayer request is relationship you can have a man's hand but when you have his heart you have access to everything are we together and I truly pray that God will help you to know him more Amen. the Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you, ushers here, the power of God is coming on you, eh? You, I know you are ushers, you are doing your work, but let God visit you first, then you continue doing what you're doing. I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now. We're going to, I'm seeing a strong anointing. Sir, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir, this is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. They say that it's cancer that is going to operate it so that you won't talk again. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I got it. That, that something that is the truth that sees is... This is what I'm saying. I'm, and they, there is cancerous. I'm going to operate him and there's no, 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 human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I declare in the name of Jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is He plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now He's saying that, look, 
Doctors are a miracle. They are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we will not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We're about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here. And now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that he will never be able to speak again. Sir, come again. So that is either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here. Please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say, I'm Apostle Joshua Selman, I am this. Our alignment, there are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destinies tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with God don't ask God to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus. That he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. God bless you, my people. I've prayed for you. You can go back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria. Um day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but Jesus still heals and right now, please listen, we have to do it very fast because I know your prayer requests are here. By the way, if you are yet to write it, please make sure that you do so quickly. But I'm going to minister to the sick right now. And when I pray for you, all the overflows outside, following online, maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed, death sentence, about to go. I want you to believe Jesus. Hallelujah. As soon as I pray for you, listen please. The power of God will come upon you. Already miracles have started happening. Now this is what will happen. As soon as the power of God touches you and I ask you to check yourself, I want you to run out here. Please, whether they are overflow one, two, three, down to the basement or outside, those online, you can register your testimony online. I want you to come out, use either this place. No, 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 you don't have to bring them out. I'm praying for them right from there. So whether you come out from here or here, once you are healed, then you'll bring them out. You don't have to bring the sick out. They'll crowd this place. I'm just going to pray for you. This is just because our father came out and stood here. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. 
the master touched me and oh what joy fills my soul something happened and now I know he touched me and There'll be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. The healing anointing is flowing here in the name of jesus christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening i command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, leave the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness, be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. And then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call parkinson's i think i'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of jesus i declare may the power of the holy ghost touch you now may the power of the holy ghost touch you now be healed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a lady here you don't have anything cancer but your hair false this is this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of god is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye 
you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now the lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now no you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lumps the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah i'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now uh, the lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now three things we're going to do at the same time number one all those check yourself now check yourself you find out there are people that jesus has healed inside outside i want you to run quickly you can come and stand here people are coming celebrate them or you stand here please come check yourself check yourself please make sure you check them there will be people here to ch i spotted dr bukola williams somewhere please you can help to just verify the people let's just have people come in god has healed you please come out and stand while that is happening please ushers pr you can help them please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together very quickly jesus is healing people koinoni are you celebrating miracles from all the overflows please make your way creator of the universe what can't you do 
what can't you do, Jesus? Creator of saints. Coming. Keep coming. All the overflow. Just allow those who are healed to come. You're the name. You are a Hallelujah. Let's have a few of the. Do we have the mics? Are they ready? Let's just have a few very quickly, please. Whilst that is happening, please do well. If you need a minute to quickly write your prayer request, please write it. They're bringing all of them to the altar here. We're going to be praying and let the God that answers by fire bring miracles to you in the name of Jesus. Ensure that the overflows, everyone has their prayer request those online i like you to keep faith we're going to pray and the power of god will touch you there yes very quickly please she said she has had it for over a month now but the pain is gone it's gone bend yes. any pain any pain completely in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy ghost that anointing comes on you it perfects you in jesus name yes please you mentioned the kneecap challenge Immediately you mentioned that the pain disappeared. She How long have you had it, madam? A month. A month. Check yourself. Any pain? No. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Back yeah. pain too. Our mommy has had back pain. Our labs. Let her speak. Go ahead, ma. I've been having pain from my labs for over three months now. But and right now? Ah, ah, look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, sir. Uh, also, you gave a Hold word on, of please. Knowledge. Just a moment. Yes. So you gave a word of knowledge for the knee. The knee. The has... knee. Yes. How long? For over three months now. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely yeah. gone. Every other issue goes like that in the name of Jesus. So, yes, please. So we have another knee here. The same, the same problem. Knee. Yeah. Check yourself. It's gone completely. It's gone. In the name of all of you. Three months. Yes. Three months. Are you seeing the coin? It looks like coincidences. Everything that is off balance in your life, in Jesus' name, restoration comes for it. Yes, sir. 2016. 2016. Yes, sir. Your knee. Yes. And right now, run. You told me to do a surgery. Go ahead, run. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Just a little, huh? Jump. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never, never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You mentioned the case of someone that fell from the bed. This is it. She had had the pain in the leg, but the pain is gone. Oh, I'm now. seeing. Is, is that a bandage or something? Yes. Let her speak. When Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Okay, what, when... what happened? <laughs> don't worry don't worry take your time uh-huh this evening when i came in i had so much pains i had to go to the medical but he kept telling me it was it has to take one month four weeks for me to get well and then i told him i was even this evening I had an engagement he said i should just keep I don't know if it's outside that I should just keep putting my leg like this and not press the leg so that it doesn't get Okay, what me. happened now? But now I feel a lot better. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I declare perfection. Perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Someone with a pain around the, 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 the shoulder. shoulder. Yes, it's gone. Now. gone. Check yourself completely. My goodness. In the name of Jesus, it never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Yes, please. Another case of me can healed. Mama, how long has it been? Uh, since on the second of uh, this month. Okay. I just came back from my mother's burial from the village. The kneecap started, and the same thing happened to my elder sister that I lost on the 13th of uh, January. She came back from the village, and this same thing led to her death. Anybody that digs a pit for you, what happened to her man, may it happen to them. The rod of the wicked, the Bible says, shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Mama, be healed completely perfected in Jesus' name. Yes, please, go ahead of chest pain at the shoulder and the breast region they are both healed completely in the name of jesus a miracle for you yes sir right. so apostle she's an actress and she she's having a shortness of breath and you, you are an actress yes. uh, i'm an actress i met a guy on a location brand and after meeting the guy after we left the location got to my hotel room i start feeling dizzy and anytime i walk a little i start feeling weak inside of me so my pastor's wife gave me the cliffs your one of your cliffs to watch and in my dream you gave me sugar so i decided, i told my pastor's wife everything and he asked me to come here to from come lagos. here yes from I lagos you lagos. came yes. and right now he's gone yes. make sure you take a bottle of wine and go and thank your pastor's wife may the lord bless you and if she's watching the lord bless you ma and the lord honor you I decree and declare not only is god bringing perfection even in your career you will thrive go from glory to glory in jesus name ah there's a miracle here praise the lord praise the lord my god oh god people who saw me coming in in fact i had to beg the security men to help me park very close to the gate because i can't work with this without this I how long? So much pain. How long has it last been? Last year, May. Okay. And the doctor told me that I needed total hip replacement. I've been having severe pains, like my hip was cut. But while you told uh, the people who were laughing in the spirit to come out, I stood up and immediately I just felt the Walk. pain. Walk. Completely gone. Pain. Hmm. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. So we have cases of ulcer being healed, peptic ulcer. So how many years? Peptic ulcer for more than two years. And the pain? Mine is six years. Six years. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who, who have suffered ulcer, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing is, is completely perfected. It will never return back again. In Jesus' name I pray. 24 years. 24 years. Place your hand on your chest. I'm touched just by that. Lord, may it never return. A miracle for you. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. There's a breakthrough in this room with my name Healing for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. My God, there are so many miracles. Let's see what we can do. Yes, please. Knee. Yeah. Now, all of you who have knee issues, just place your hand there. Let me just seal your miracle. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, either here or here, all of you together, I declare healing for you, perfection in Jesus' name. Yes, Benga, go ahead. He came here very, very sick. He said he had also pain. So he went to the medicals. They yes. They gave him drugs, but he was still feeling it. But immediately you mentioned I think we should celebrate our doctors. They are doing an amazing work at the medical session very intelligent skilled people giving their heart and their all to the lord the lord bless you in jesus now name the pains are gone. completely the pains are gone yes sir. in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please you mentioned the case but now she's no longer feeling it how long has this been i've been having it for a very long time but ever since i started praying for my sister because she has a kidney yes sickle cell gall bladder stone so ever since i started praying for her i don't know whether they were just attacking me so anytime i take in that hotness will just remove the pregnancy 
So, and sometimes I can't even, my cloth, just for my cloth to stay, relax on my body, I can't. I must open like because it's too hot that I need to get something cold to touch it. But immediately you talked about healing. So the, the whole thing now started coming down. It's not as bad as, as it used to be. So right now, I'm not feeling that hotness Come. in my womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, don't cry. This is your sister's photo. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. I pray in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. Lay your hands there and watch a miracle happen for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare for you and for your sister, let there be a miracle right now. And whatever has been responsible for these miscarriages, we curse it by the God of heaven. Go and return back a joyful mother of children. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Completely. Check yourselves. All of you with shoulder issues, in Jesus' name. We may just take two, two, and then I'll pray. I know that there are so many people. Now, listen, every time you're unable to testify here real time, you can always register your testimony and then let's know. Um, by the way, week all week long, the media lines are open. You can always register your testimony. And then I know that we have a lot of people and sometimes we're constrained by time. But it is good for God's people to know that God is at work in your life. Feel secured, feel safe to share your testimonies. It doesn't have to be a healing miracle in any area at all. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll see how God will grant us grace to dedicate a little more time. Testimonies are powerful. They are attestations of the love, the power, the grace of God. And we don't downplay them at all. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's take two, maybe two each. And then we'll just pray generally for the rest. Yes, ma'am. Ah, let her speak. Okay, I had a lump on my shoulder here. Wow. And it was really conspicuous. And it was just kept growing. But it has shrunk. Completely. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Creative miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we declare every growth. It leaves never to return. In Jesus' name I pray. Give Jesus praise. The last person, please. Back pain is here. The pains are gone. Back pain. Back pain. Check yourself, my dear. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. In Jesus' name, perfection for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. You gave a word of knowledge about someone that is lactating. How long has this been? Since 2019. 2019? Yes. And I this was... has happened to you? Yes, sir. And what happened to you now? I went to the bathroom. You to went check. out to check yourself? Yes, I went It's to... gone. Come on, Koinonia. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for your body in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, this is... She's been healed, her ankle... And she's had her eyes for two years. She couldn't see. Right now, she can actually see. Then mama back in. Several testimonies, oh Apostle. Hold and on. Every... I'm interested in this too. Our time is gone, but can I pray for you, madam? How long has this been? It started since March this year. Since March. Check yourself now. Any pain? Completely gone. I decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, madam? Since two years now, I've not been seen very well. Every, what couldn't you see? Everything. I always have severe pains in my eyes. Before I would sleep, I would always apply this uh, eye drop every night, every day, before going to bed. But today, I came with the severe pains, seriously. But after your prayers, everything just disappeared. I can't feel any pains anymore. Hallelujah. And I can see very well You now. can see clearly. Very well. Place your hands on your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare... And I decree, spiritually and physically, may you truly begin to see. In the name of Jesus, perfection for your vision. Now, I pray for all of you. I'm sure that many of you, thank you, by the way, for the courage to come intending to testify. For constraint of time, we may not be able to testify now, but I pray for you. Every miracle you have received, and those at the overflow, those following from whatever nation, in Jesus' name, it remains so, it remains permanent, never to return again. We declare that you are blessed now, you are blessed forever. In Jesus' name, I pray. 
please rise up on your feet stretch your hands here we're about to pray this is a very prophetic hour right now our time is gone but please be patient this is a very critical part of the miracle service where we get to pray over the requests just stretch your hands towards me as i agree we have a covenant of answered prayers with the lord if there are still more please bring it quickly so that we have it here please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever please make sure you pray god of vengeance has fight my battle for me god of miracles has won my battles for me i'm a winner man i'm a winner man he has won my battle for me i'm a winner man i'm a winner man he has won my battles for me god of vengeance god of vengeance has won my battle for me god of miracles has won my battle for me i'm a winner man i'm a winner man please stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray father god of heaven please pray you are receiving by faith we are crying to the god of heaven just pray In the name of Jesus why do we pray over our requests because the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 to be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with Thanksgiving it says to make our request known let your request be made known this is the most accurate representation of our desires our frustrations our constraints no matter how we prophesy, we are not able to reach as many people. But this is everyone's genuine desire. Nobody reads it. This is between you and your maker. But I stand in the name of Jesus by the privilege of priesthood. And I declare over this request that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Every shame and every disappointment written here, represented here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is turned to joy. Every closed door that is responsible for this request here, we command those doors to be opened now. Father, I pray and call upon you who is the God of all flesh who has sent us 
standing in the midst of your people i decree and declare lord let every one of these prayer requests be turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for those who are not here but you wrote for them may the angel of the lord's presence right from this place go to their homes their nations and bring strange miracles for them please lift your hands to receive the blessing father i want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command i pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now that before miracle service before miracle service june i decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season i decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the book of remembrance be opened now. If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members, whether death through the air, by sea, by land, in the name of Jesus, we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the Lord, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be answered tonight. hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of Jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands I declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with jesus christ our passion and our hunger i'm going to make the altar call shortly but let me pray for your spiritual life you go up today you are down tomorrow you pray today then you ignore the prayer altar you study today then you ignore it the grace for consistency take that grace now grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now can we pray over favor father upon your people the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men i pray for you everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ 
and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ very quickly there are people here who are saying apostle our time is gone but we need jesus please if you can i know that we've been standing for a long time let's minimize movement let's just honor these ones the overflow outside those in right to the basement and those within this auditorium there are people saying apostle haven't seen what the lord has done in this place i know that my relationship with jesus needs to be mended i need to start a relationship or i need to rededicate my life we have just two minutes for you aside from those outside those inside and then the overflows outside there please i want you to quickly take a step of faith and come and stand here you want to give your heart to jesus you want to rededicate your life i want you to leave your seat right now let's celebrate them someone has to someone that courage to come and stand here koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming quickly my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes keep standing one minute please quickly come and join them my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes to your will i salute every one of you for the courage to come to jesus the bible says as many who will come please join them quickly if you're joining them please those coming from outside allow them to come very quickly so that they join the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away lift your right hand to jesus and say it convincingly let it also be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that Jesus is my Savior I declare that Jesus is my Lord I declare that Jesus is my King I receive forgiveness of sin I receive the life of God I declare that I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once they have come in response to your love and i commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare that you are partakers of the life of god you are benefactors of the gift of righteousness the abundance of grace and you begin to reign from tonight forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord honor you in jesus name now very quickly i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands with the placard Please follow them very quickly. Let's celebrate them, Koinonia. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially, and otherwise. I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.